Hi guys, this is Lena from Eat the Good Life Kids and I am back in a car. You know why? Because this is what I do every day. Uh, what I don't know what you guys do, but I usually, I work. So my life revolves really around going from point A to point B. So I get to work in the morning and now I get to go back and I have to go and get the kids and take them to the after school activities, which is, you know, fun and expensive at the same time. And uh, yeah, my little one started daycare and oh my God, how expensive that is. Ridiculous. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about camping activities. Do you guys love camping? Because I don't. Okay, let me move this camera a little bit out of the way. I'm a little bit annoyed by the steering wheel. The last time I went camping with my husband and the kids, I had to entertain the children most of the time while he was doing his thing. So yes, that was not fun at all. However, I sort of kind of wish I was smarter and I did a little bit more of prep of going here. Because my kids, they just, they did not know how to stand still. They kept on running in two different directions and I had to chase them. This was my whole time being in the camp. I was chasing my children. So that's why Sorry, I see. Hello. <laughs> uh, so that's why today I wanted to show you some of the camping activities. It, the stuff that you can easily do with the kids anytime, and just it, it just seriously requires most of the stuff. Just requires just a little tiny bit of prep. Okay, let's talk about camping. Even if summer is over, we still have camping. Lucky some of the people in warmer states can do it around the year, but here in Midwest we probably have another, you know, we probably have September and October. And uh, we recently published an article, 15 camping activities and printables. And I'm just going to mention five with one extra bonus one that I absolutely loved because it was genius. So make sure you stay on to see that one. Okay, so the first one I wanted you to guys to see is by um, the website's called I Can Teach My Child, and it's I Can I Can Teach My Child dot com, and uh, their uh, clever idea is make your all own solar oven. How do you love this? By uh, my understanding, is this is a great, definitely a great science experiment. It requires it requires foil marshmallow yeah, oh my god and she actually has a videos oh guys this is this is a winner right here it's a pizza box and how you turn it into the solar oven on the video hello great ideas the next one is by thecraftingchicks.com and they have an awesome idea and their idea is to make a summer walking stick well maybe it will be a fall walking stick but check this out I think it's oh wow those are the chicks I'm assuming but they have it's absolutely cool I mean you have the sticks just about anywhere and everywhere and thank you sense of humor and from here as a small you know, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 minute project, you're gonna end up with the walking sticks like that. I think it's a clever idea and make sure to color it in different colors that every kid has his own walking stick. Ready for the next one? Summer camping. Okay, this one is classic clutter DIY meets design. My God, classic clutter, that's me. This one is, and get guys get ready this is an awesome one it's a summer camping printables so if you jump onto her blog and guys I will have the links to everything in the description you jump on the uh, you print a package and you will have a, a whole bunch of little things that you can do with the kids especially if you have smaller kids uh, you know something that to keep them occupied because I don't know about you my kids are always trying to sneak out iPads and iPhones out of the house but you know when you camping you can't really charge it 
click and print. Next, another genius one. This one is a girl and a glue gun. And I swear, this girl is awesome. This is not the first article that I see from her. She is just absolutely amazing. And she's making glow jars. Perfect for the kids. It's a great kit. It's a great craft for the kids in the camp, but it's also an amazing. Oh, you can do a whole bunch of baby food jars and you can just have those around. Man, you can light up, light up just about anything. And check this out. She's giving you step-by-step -step instruction and it results in, ta-da, glow jars, love it. Okay, this is number five. This is another printable, if you love those. And this one is coming from one plus one plus one equals one. Wow, that net. Okay, another great printables, perfect for the little kids. It's all there, they can learn to write and play and color and all here, just click to download and you will have access to some really, really cool stuff and you kids would absolutely love coloring and they will not try to run away. I don't know about your kids, my kids are always trying to run away in the woods or not. Okay, and now you're ready for my very personal favorite one. It's an awesome one. It's an awesome one because this is something that I absolutely love, yet I know I will never actually do this. But it's awesome, I promise. It's called, it's coming from uh, Play-Doh to Plato.com and it's Camping Theme Story Stones. Check this out, guys. How cool is this going? Chrysler commercial ad? Check it out. I think it's absolutely ridiculously cool. Again, not doing that, but you might. I think it's a really, it's a great idea. So she suggests to get oil-based Sharpie, which is not cheap, but it clearly gets the job done. And you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. If you use the pictures, you can put away, you can write a story using, you know, the stone words. There is all, and, and that's not it, there is more to it. It's an absolutely open play, and yeah, just go with it. And they're stones, and they look awesome. And that's a wrap. How awesome was this? I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. Which one was your favorite? I cannot wait to talk to you again. Maybe from the car. Hmm. Would that even be possible? Uh, anyway, until the next time, bye.